Hello my lovelies. So today I've got another foundation review for you. When I was um, in Boots I was um, buying all the drugstore stuff for the video that you've just seen. Um, there was a big display of new foundation from number seven and this is Hydra Luminous Moisturizing Foundation Visibly Fresh and Radiant Skin Medium Coverage with SPF 15 um, and I have never tried I think number seven foundation to be honest I don't often look at number seven uh, but you know as the drugstore foundations are getting better I'm willing to try more and more let's have a look first what they say about this foundation um, visibly fresh and radiant looking skin in an instant even better looking best skin over time so I suppose you must have some sort of skincare ingredients in it this moisturizing foundation gives a flawless natural finish and healthy all-day glow wear it every day and over time your skin looks fresher healthier and more luminous skin loving ingredients include an active blend of antioxidants vitamin a c and e together with grapeseed oil to moisturize okay and it says to shake it really well because it, it feels a bit watery so let's have a look i will do one side with my artist brush and one side with um, my Juno sponge again color choice appalling um, I got mine in warm beige it was very hard to choose um, but this looks a bit similar to my YC CYO foundation this color so hopefully yeah, it's very beigey, almost like olivey. Um, it feels nice and creamy. Let's do this side with the brush. It blends really easily. It goes straight into your skin. and it doesn't really look like foundation on your skin but as you can see this is like a light medium coverage because I can still see my imperfections let's do this side with my Juno sponge which I usually get more coverage with yeah <laughs> can you see my sleep crease do you remember when I was talking about my eyebrows about how your skin at certain age takes much longer to get back to its original place <laughs> so that's what happens when I sleep and I wake up with a sleep crease it lasts half a day looks like I've got a scar okay so yeah it's definitely a very natural coverage and very natural looking so i'm going to build it up a bit actually it does just look like my skin hmm. let's build it up on this side i'm not going to i think i will just now carry on with the sponge but it applies really nicely with the brush But we'll see what it looks like when we try to build it up yeah it builds up okay I, I, I got a bit more coverage but um, it still looks like skin it's really nice you can see I'm getting lovely hormonal breakouts which is nice The colour is okay, but not perfect. That's the only problem with most drugstore foundations is just the colour choice and the 
undertones it's just not right but i suppose that's how they keep their prices low it must cost much more to make more colors and more undertones i don't know it isn't a squeezable tube so it might get a bit messy but i'm not mad at it it's nice and thin light nice for travel okay so this is close up what do you think it's got like a natural um luminous finish it always looks a bit textured around my mouth but most foundations do i think this part of our face ages quite badly um but i did put you know two layers of it quite a lot um yeah i think it looks really nice it it just very looks very much skin like okay let's finish it off and we will see they also came out with the um concealer to go with this foundation but when i tried the concealer there really wasn't many colors of it and um when i swatched it it felt a bit thin uh, so i don't know how it would be with coverage and i thought you know i've got so many concealers but maybe i should have tried it as well Okay, so all I did is put my Fenty Beauty concealer, I've set it under my eyes with the Fenty powder and then I set my whole face with Laura Mercier translucent powder. I didn't put any bronzers, nothing, just so you can see it on its own once it's been set and I think it looks beautiful. It's, it does give you just like really nice canvas. It doesn't look like makeup, it just looks like my skin. Obviously, if you, you know, get really close to someone and you see every imperfection, but that's just, you can't avoid, avoid that, especially, you know, with more mature skin. But yeah, I really like it. I am so, so surprised. So what I will do is I will finish my makeup off. I might actually film some tutorial and I will come back at the end of the day to see how he held up. Hello, I'm back. It's 20 past five in the evening. Um, I always seem to come back around the same time and that is because it fits with my um, daily routine. I've just come back with Louis. So let's have a look. I think this is looking fabulous. It looks just like it looked uh, when I put it on this morning. Started working. Oh yeah, I heard it, and I thought you were. I thought you were. Um, um, Why long has he been going? No, I th I thought he was doing this when you went upstairs, and I thought yeah. you were printing I, something. I put a book on top of it, and it was going. Mm, and it started working again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, where was I <laughs> before we were rudely interrupted? <laughs> um yeah it looks really good so i don't feel like it's gone any more luminous you know or greasy like some of those more luminous foundations can i actually really like the color i think once you've put the bronzer and blush and everything on um the color looks fine but i might explore some different colors as well now i know what i've got so if i want to go a bit darker i will know uh let's zoom you in Okay, so this is close up, of course, because the lights are so bright, you don't see so much texture, but let me turn down the light a bit. There you go. But I don't think it looks even that textured. It always does around your mouth, you know. I'm old, so um, no, but I think it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with it. Yeah, so I would say that's another winner. Um, I've got so many favorite drugstore foundations now. I really don't feel like even trying any high-end. 
Okay, my lovelies, um, this makeup um, I filmed today, so I don't know if you've already seen it or if not, you will see it very soon. Um, but that's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.